Happy New Year, Tim, and everybody watching uh, the presentation here at TED. It's uh, a fascinating subject, and um, wow, it's just compellingly overwhelming uh, once arrived at what we're now able to realize and understand. Um, it's uh, really interesting for a lot of us that, um, you know, we're kids when it was science fiction, basically, and we took it as a non, a non-serious thought. The idea was uh, entertainment, was um, sensationalism, um, and then suddenly, me, like many others, I'm sure, mm, who are more of um, more uh, tend to be leaders rather than just believe whatever we're told and use our own mind to figure things out. Whatever percentage of the world's population we are, I'm sure started thinking, well, putting together, uh, putting together the math, in other words, which is basically what Tim just did, said, think about how immense the universe is and how many billions of possibilities of Earth-like worlds there are? Um, the answer is certainly there is life as we know it, um, at least the way we understand comprehensive conscious life, intelligent by our definitions, by our, by our understanding of reasoning and intelligence. And. Um, the reason I'm making this video is to introduce the missing, missing, missing factor to the equation, uh, which sometimes surprises me that scientists don't include. And I think it's it's the last uh, factor, the last factor to the equation of probability, which once you include. Um, it suddenly becomes something larger than we can handle and the possibilities uh, can be enormous they can immediately perhaps be frightening to many once you consider the the very real possibilities and at the same time the further you take it you kind of calm down and realize well if that were the case would we be even able to be saying this or realizing it. So I'm going to introduce a factor um, that's missing in this equation of probability for other life. Um, what, w like all the other factors, we have what we see and what we know to be able to deduce upon and count on as far as understanding. All we have is what we know, in other words. So one of the things we know is that mankind um, has been on this planet for however long he has, and we also can visually, we've also, many of us have visually seen the, uh, the chart, right, the chart of our, um, our existence in the world and how it is often been compared to a, a period of a year in which only the very last hour uh, we have come up with writing or the last, I don't know, day and then the last hour, the last day we came up with writing and uh, the last um, hour we came up with uh, inventions such as agriculture and the wheel and so forth and the last minute we have made airplanes and are modifying surgically our own bodies and are um, traveling to other worlds in our solar system other planets so this exponentially increasing precipitously increasing uh, um, chart similar to the growth of our population growth which is 
mind-boggling uh, as we can't seem to be able to fathom how we're going to handle this uh, constantly speeding up increase uh, we see the capacity of uh, our intelligence in other words the production of our intelligence which ends up defining humanity in other words today we are defined not humanly not in this natural sense but our civilization and humanity is defined by our um, scientific capacities and this could be given a size if you think about this size um, how big it was uh, 10,000 years ago you would say we were only as big as the immediate valleys around our tribes and hardly any of us knew beyond that what lay or what was happening beyond the ocean or beyond um, certain areas of the world and then we started um, growing in size and our technologies included our uh, the abilities of our intelligence included in this humanity the civilization that keeps getting larger it's a, a size that has to do with our capacity so today you could say that the size of humanity is as uh, big as wherever the voyagers have reached in, in outer space that's as far as we uh, are affecting and humanity is present detectable let's say by by beings from other from other galaxies for example a thousand years ago we were as big as uh, areas on the earth itself and now we're as big as uh, beyond the solar system and this growth of humanity has only happened in this last day of the year-long proportional chart to give us an idea of how quickly we are growing and becoming more intelligent as a civilization. That said, uh, I would like you to now apply this factor of growth and uh, acceleration of growth of intelligence of the species, evolution if you want to call it, the intelligent evolution of the species, um, to the thousands of possibilities of life appearing on worlds that may be even a hundred times older than we are. Uh, civilizations that have been consistently um, expanding and growing without self-destroying themselves uh, for perhaps ten times more, a thousand times more, and additionally all the thousands of times that those cases are repeated throughout the universe and um, it's hard to find words to um, to explain what that would conclude at the very least uh, it's um, logical to say that not only have we been visited but it's very likely that we are either created manipulated used we are part of an expanding um, greater uh, superhumanism super excuse me super community uh, of, of galactic intelligence that has resolved uh, a way of being able to um, reproduce itself in places it cannot reach similar to how plants do send seeds and uh, you would never guess that that seed that arrives far away ends up being an oak tree <laughs> or, a, or a sequoia um, except that we had to come up with that way of doing it because the distance just like a, on the topography of the planet doesn't allow for us to simply travel uh, physically is one possibility but without even entertaining too much um, what the possibilities are we should keep in mind that um, look at what we do to other beings look at what we do to ourselves look at this is also what we have to go by what we have to uh, uh, 
learn what we have available in order to learn um, in, or, in order to not to learn in order to uh, have different considerations we only have what we have to work with as far as deducing things so we also have that um, we have agriculture that's why I said scary because um, you know can opening this new uh, introducing this new factor to the equation also presents the possibility that we can farm the universe for not us but whoever created us uh, for you know well this doesn't seem to be <laughs> I just got a, a, a response from somebody <laughs> on what's up from something else who says that's that's how it is in Spanish I see this that's that's what's going on <laughs> uh, um, it doesn't seem too logical that we would be able to tease uh, and to start walking on the possibility of being more of an extension a procreation uh, something that was created that is whose creator is waiting for us to talk back to it um, and to complete the circle and to com to start a to and from between um, between its little offsprings that are finally reaching maturity uh, seems to be more likely the case <laughs> but you know it's um, I'm now thinking of it humorously but I remember when I first thought of this uh, when I first made this uh, deduction I was about 20 maybe and that was a long time ago <laughs> and only now are you seeing scientists that are saying for sure there is life elsewhere so go figure um, um, I remember I got a feeling of I got scared I, because I realized I, I was hit by the the almost tangible the unquestionable realism of it and all of a sudden I because at that moment I suppose life uh, seemed so uncontrollably uh, out of control, unfair and destructive um, I now have gotten older and I feel that we do have the power as a humanity to get a grip on the, on the, on the, on the super collective, the super community of humanity and, and make the world that we want to but at that time I suppose I didn't understand if, if, for example, war was a given or war can actually be ended, which it can, uh, because it took so many years to understand the logic behind the occurrence of war and to be able to finally conclude uh, we could end war on the planet. So um, I'm not so uh, impressionable and susceptible upon uh, the same deduction that I made when I was 20. So anyways, I wanted to share that uh, missing factor with everybody following this video and with Tim and all others. I hope that um, the right people start because, you know, what completing the equation leads to leads to potentially wonderful great things that we behoove us to rise to the occasion of as a world as uh, global organizations as governments who start thinking more of their own people instead of what they get from other countries and how they affect other governments um, it leads to potentially a lot of great things and so I hope that the right people start talking about the complete equation Okay, thanks and Happy New Year.